Hey guys, it's John, and uh, it's a June Sunday afternoon. It's probably going to be over 100 degrees today, maybe a little bit more. So I've decided it's going to be uh, pertinent to my survival that I stay inside and stay in the workshop and work on something today and keep myself out of the sun. So, uh, this is what I've chosen to work on today. It's uh, a bald cypress. I uh, collected 25 months ago. Um, and in fact, why don't we go right now and take a look at a couple pictures from when this was first collected. <clears throat> it's come a long way in 25 months. Um, uh, collected in May, and so here's some pictures of its first haircut. And then last summer, um, uh, about the same time, I gave it its first styling, and there's a, a video um, on, on, my, on my channel that uh, describes that process uh, through pictures, but uh, so here's a couple pictures from that. And here it is today. Um, it's going to get the works today. I'm going to uh, potentially repot this tree. Um, I'm going to leaf prune it. I'm going to prune branches, make some decisions on branches, get rid of some branches. Uh, I'm going to wire branches. I'm going to look at the carving from last year and see how it is filling back in. Uh, and evaluate that and see if there's anything I need to do there to uh, encourage the healing of that and to avoid any excessive rot. Uh, so it's going to get the works today. So I'm, unfortunately, um, Google or uh, YouTube limits me to 10 minutes. So I may this may have to be a multi-parter if I'm going to show you everything I want to show you. So I'm going to start by cleaning up the soil and pruning the trunk, uh, getting that ready, and I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, friends, um, all I've done is cleaned up the soil, exposed some of the roots, not really exposed very much, but cleaned off the moss that was growing up the trunks, um, <clears throat> picked some of the like, some of the bark off, pruned all the foliage, rubbed all the little buds that were coming off to, to expose the trunk. Um, I'm hoping to repot this tree, so at some point I'm going to have to decide which one of these fronts. Uh, is is really ideal um, because the pot I'm putting in is an oval, not a round. So uh, you kind of have to decide on the front. Obviously, when I pick a front, I'm going to use two things. I'm going to use the roots. This tree has lots of good roots all the way around. I mean, you can see it's. It has roots coming out 360 degrees around. So, but I'll also need to look at the top. And once I get the top of the tree defoliated, uh, then I can compare the roots with the branches at the top, uh, and I can pick a front. So um, I will use those two things. I'll try to find the 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 best root spread that also complements the best spread of branches at the top, because it's really almost the same thing in a flat top style. So. Uh, but anyhow, uh, so next 
um, is, I guess it's time to defoliate, so I'm going to, um, I'll see. Okay guys, after uh, about 30 minutes of stripping leaves and cleaning up, here's where we're at. Lots and lots of growth since last year and I pruned much of it. I pruned the tips of all the branches just to make it easier to, to strip off all the leaves. But So now I've got to decide what to do. I could use a clip and grow method here. Um, and go through and prune out what doesn't look good. Either way, I'll go through and prune out branches that don't fit or don't place. The other thing I could do is go ahead and wire. Last year I wired to try to give some shape to these larger branches, and it really looked good after it was wired, so I really like the shape. I mean, these branches are growing, they got slight curves in them, but they don't look that great, so. Um, I need to make a decision now about what to do, but I think the first thing I'll do is go ahead and prune all of the branches that I know aren't going to be part of the design and see if there's any big branches that need to go. Um, the carving from last year is looking pretty good. Um, if I learned anything from it, it's that uh, probably I could have gone a little closer to the bases of the branches. It's getting a little wide here, but uh, it rolled over well, pretty, pretty well there. So I'll show you some detail shots of that later. Okay guys, uh, I think I'm going to eliminate this branch. I really have have four main branches, one, two, three, four, and I need to eliminate um, one of them. So this one is the longest and has is the straightest, most upright, so I think I can wire this one down, um, and then, but this one I think I'm going to remove. So I'm going to start by drawing on the bark. Uh, the cut that I want to make. 